Construction of the border wall in Stark County is officially underway after Texas officials held a kickoff event just hours ago. The Texas General Land Office offered the recently acquired 1,400 acre piece of land to the incoming Trump administration to build a migrant detention facility. Now Stark County is about 700 miles south of El Paso, 35 miles west of McAllen. Texas Land Commissioner Don Buckingham was at the event to officially mark the construction of this new section of the border wall along the Rio Grande. Buckingham has said that her office is fully prepared to enter into an agreement with federal agencies. She also announced that she created the Jocelyn Initiative, where the Texas General Land Office will purchase several more plots of land in Texas and offer them to the Trump administration. She added the Jocelyn Initiative is named after 12-year-old Jocelyn Nungari, who was allegedly murdered by two Venezuelan men. The new project that the General Land Office is going to embark in that I have created is the Jocelyn Initiative, in which we will locate appropriate land under my jurisdiction to lease for the construction of violent criminal deportation facilities. Now, Star County Democratic Chair Jessica Vera says the new construction is nothing more than a publicity stunt for the state, and this is according to KRGV Rio Grande Valley ABC affiliate.